the pores, it blur it blurs, blurs, because it jacks with how my foundation wears throughout the day. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my January favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna do like I normally do, and I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites, and then I have some other favorites for you. Mainly just like makeup things that I haven't really mentioned in Friday favorites and then a couple of skincare things. So yeah, let's get to it. For eyes this month, these are definitely my overall favorites. First off is the BH Cosmetics Supernova Palette. I have this on my eyes today. I love this palette. I love BH Cosmetics Big Shadows. I think they're just awesome. And this palette is so good for like just easy eye looks. I mean, it's great for involved eye looks too, but like today I literally just have my bronzer in my crease and two different colors on my lid this one and a little bit of this in my outer corner and that's it like it's just easy and it's pretty and metallic and i just love their baked shadows they are so good and then i love this pigment from inglot this is the amc pure pigment eyeshadow and this is in 111 really pretty pink color. I swatched these in Friday Favorites when I first mentioned them, but this is just a beautiful pigment. It's amazing. When you apply it with like MAC Fix Plus or something like that, it just intensifies it like crazy. Same thing with the BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows. My overall blush and lip favorites this month are all from the drugstore, which is really exciting. First off is the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. This is so pretty and glowy and amazing. Totally overlooked, really doesn't get as much hype as it deserves. This one is in Purple Plum, and it's just like so glowy and beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm just gonna mix them together real quick to show you. It's just amazing. Like I said, I do swatch these in Friday Favorites if you wanna see better swatches and hear more information. And then the Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. This is what I have on today. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this thing. Absolutely obsessed. What I have on today is, and I went a little bit lighter with it today. I have the darkest shade, kind of lower, and then I have a little bit of the lighter shade, and then I have that highlight. Love that highlight. Love the blushes too. They blend like a dream. They wear really well. They're amazing. And then I cannot stop with this lip liner. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner, and this is in the color, I pointed to it and then I forgot what it was called. It is called Bear to Comment and it's just like a perfect everyday color. This is all I have on today, so it's one of those lip liners. You can wear it as a liner. You can wear it as just a lipstick basically by itself. It's awesome. Such a comfortable formula. Amazing. $4.99, I think, so super affordable and really good. Okay, now on to some makeup-y favorites that I have not mentioned in Friday favorites. First off is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. This gets a lot of buzz on YouTube, and I wanted to try it for forever and just Never had the opportunity to because we don't really have Rite Aids around us and I never really thought to order it online, but Jessie's Girl was so sweet and sent me a bunch of products to try out and this was one of them and this is so good. It totally lives up to all the hype that it gets. It's really nice and black and easy to use. It's one of those like kind of bendy, brushy, sort of situations it's kind of like in between a felt tip and a brush so which is my favorite kind of eyeliner to use i think liquid eyeliner to use i just find it easier to work with and this one is really nice and black easy to work with wear as well love it it's awesome i really like the um physician's formula eye booster very very similar like i really don't notice a big difference between them other than this one's a little bit cheaper. So I'm super impressed with this. And I have pretty much been rotating these three foundations all month. And I know it's a little bit overkill to mention three foundation favorites, but these are the three that I pretty much just, I mean, it's one of these three all month. And I've been excited about wearing these. And when I use them, I'm like, I love these foundations. So I wanted to mention all three of them. So first off, I've already mentioned this one on my channel. This is the Lancome Tint Eye Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick, and I wear it in 210 Buff. This is what I have on today. This is just so easy. That's one reason I love this so much. You literally just like draw it on, buff it on with a brush, takes two seconds, makes your skin look amazing, and really like it's so versatile, just apply a little bit, and then you get a little bit of coverage, but a little bit goes like a long way at perfecting 
the look of your skin and just blending everything together. But then if you want a little bit more coverage, just apply a little bit more. It doesn't look cakey. I mean, I'm sure if you apply too much, it could look cakey, but it's hard to make it look cakey. Um, wears so well. It's just awesome. I love the regular tint eye doll, but the stick version is just so easy and great. It's amazing. And then two compact kind of foundations. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation on the go. I wear it in 10 porcelain. I just love this for how it looks on the skin. It just is very, very skin-like and just natural looking. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. It's so pretty. It's a cushion foundation. I don't know why I really need to show it to you, but that's what it looks like. It's a cushion foundation. Um, but I just love the look of it on the skin. It just perfects everything, but doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. Looks very youthful, has a little bit of a glow to it, but not too much. Now this doesn't wear super long on my combo oily skin, but I still really like it. Like I just kind of maybe have to touch up a little bit throughout the day, but if I set it well, I probably need to try it with like a, a setting spray too. I think that would really help it, but just, I love the look of it on the skin and it's fun to use. It's just, you know, it's kind of a fun product. And then this one really shocked me. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact Skin Transforming Full Coverage Solid Super Serum. So I got this in the Today's Special Value. They sent me that set to try out. And when I first got it, I was like, this is interesting. Like I was still kind of having to form my thoughts. I wasn't really 100% sure how I felt about it. I liked it, but I wasn't really sure that I loved it. But the more that I've used it, I really, really like it more. And I like it for kind of like a specific situation. Like what I've been using it for is easy makeup days where I just want to do good things to my skin. Like it feels like a skincare treatment with coverage. And I think that's really unique. Like that's what I like about it is that I feel like I'm doing good things for my skin. It feels nice. It feels hydrating. But I was surprised that it really doesn't break down on my combo oily skin. I get shiny, but it doesn't start to like move around a lot. Now I set it, I think that makes a big difference. I think setting it, at least for my skin type is important, but I didn't notice it like getting weird and strange. So I'm really shocked by this, but I really do like it for that kind of like skincare treatment with great coverage too. Love this thing. This is the Jessie's Girl Highlight and Contour Kit. They also sent this to me and I'm just so, super impressed with this thing. I've been using this nonstop since they sent it to me. Just the texture of these powders is so nice. Now, I've really mainly been using the contour shades, especially these three, and sometimes the highlighter. I'm not really using the matte highlighters, but I do sometimes use the shimmery one, but really the ones that shock me the most are the contour shades because they're just so creamy and a nice texture to them. So they're super easy to work with on the skin. I mean, they just, I don't know, they just blend super well, which with something like this, with a contouring palette, I want it to blend well because you can like jack up your makeup look with a bad contour palette. You know what I mean? And this one is a good one. So, I mean, look at that, that is so pretty. Works really well on the eyes too. I've used it just on my eyes for like an easy makeup look and it's awesome. So like easy makeup days, use this, use a little bit of that just on your eyes and then also to give your face some shape and then you're good to go. Like it's just so easy. This one is so pretty. It has like a pinky sort of a tone to it. It's just awesome. So really, really happy about this, surprised about it. Loving it. I'm also really pleasantly surprised with this product too. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I'm usually not like jumping up and down over products like these. It's just not something that makes me super excited. I love more eyeshadows and blushes and contour kits and things like that. But after using this product, I really, really like it. It just is one of those blurring sort of products that you apply it on your skin and it helps to just like create a perfect canvas for your makeup. It just looks great on the skin. Like it blurs the pores, it, blur, it blurs, blurs, it blurs the fine lines. It just like 
perfects your skin so that when your foundation goes on, it has less work to do because you have this like really nice smooth canvas underneath. It's awesome. Now I have noticed um, I'm not the biggest fan of it with the Tintide All Stick. And I found that also with my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I, I find that like my very favorite foundations are just great by themselves. You know what I mean? So I really don't find that I like this with a Tintide Doll, but with other ones like the Maybelline Cushion Foundation, um, the Super Serum, other ones like that, it just works really well. So I don't necessarily think that this needs a primer or the Estee Lauder Double Wear or the regular Tintide Doll, but with other foundations that need a little bit of perfecting and help with longevity and things like that, I think this is a great product for that. So pleasantly surprised by this. Then some skincare favorites. First is the Derma E Purifying Oil-Free Moisturizer Activated Charcoal. Let me see what it says about this. It says, treat yourself to a daily detox. This silky, lightweight formula rehydrates, replenishes, and detoxifies as it helps to shield your skin from everyday impurities. I have been using this pretty much every single day since Derma E sent this to me. I really like this because it is very lightweight. Now it's kind of weird when you first start blending it in because it's like, oh, uh, is that gonna make my skin look gray? But no, it, it totally blends in. But it's just really lightweight, which is what I go for in a daily, like daytime moisturizer because I can't use like a thick moisturizer because it jacks with how my foundation wears throughout the day. And I don't want anything jacking with how my foundation wears throughout the day. So I have to have a lightweight moisturizer for during the day. This is super lightweight, but still feels like a treatment to my skin, still feels hydrating. So this is awesome. Like if you were looking for just something that doesn't feel heavy at all, I would say definitely check this out. And side note about this moisturizer, I just went to put it back in the box because I keep everything in its boxes for some reason. Not everything, but a lot of things I keep in their boxes. Um, it's cruelty-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, soy-free, recyclable, wind energy, which is awesome. So lots of good things around this brand. Great moisturizer though. Last favorite for the month is an eye cream. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. It says smooths, brightens, and deep puffs. Again, I got this in the QVC Today Special Value. I got another one. I already had this one, but I got another one. But it kind of like reignited my interest in this product. Now it was already in my rotation of eye creams that I used, but I'd say I was using it maybe like two to three days a week, just amongst other ones. But this month I've been using it more, like more like four, five, maybe even more days a week. And I'm noticing a difference with this one specifically. Now I always notice a difference if I use an eye cream versus not. If I don't use an eye cream, I wake up and my under eyes look more crepey and dry. If I use an eye cream, they look more plump, more hydrated, just better. But I've been noticing it throughout the month, like when I would use this one versus other ones, I felt like my eyes looked better the next morning. So I did a little um, test last night and tried something else out, a little sample pack of something. And I'm noticing like some more crepiness, like especially on this eye, I'm going, what is going on? And I've noticed that when I was using a couple others too. And I think it's because this one is just more hydrating. Like it really is more smoothing. And what does it say? Smooths, brightens and deep puffs. Like, yeah, I mainly noticing notice the smoothing, like that it just like plumps and helps with that under eye situation. So I'm really liking it. Now I do notice there's something that's kind of burning my eyes when I get in bed at night. I don't notice it every night, so I don't know that it's this. It might be one of my face creams or something. I'm not sure. My mom and my sister are both super sensitive to any kind of skincare around their eyes. They get really watery eyes to like a bunch of different skincare things. I'm not as sensitive as they are, but I am a little bit. So it's a possibility that it's this, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you are sensitive to like your eyes just burning to certain things, I would get a little sample of this and see how it works for you. Um, but I don't notice it every time. So that's why I don't really know that it's, it, that it's this. But that's just a little side note, just in case. I would get a sample first. But I love the way it makes my under eyes look. Like I can tell the difference the next day. It does something good. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this month, either makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, any of those things. I really didn't have standout hair care or body care favorites this month. I was trying to think of something 
but nothing really stood out to me. But if you had some, I would love to know your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!